Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others around the internet. In the last episode of Know Your Personality segment, we focused our attention on the type 8 personality of Enneagramic Jesus, namely as a challenger protector. Though type 8 Enneagramic Jesus was a strong person, always ready to confront injustice, he did not always pick up a fight with others. Despite the inner strength characteristic of his type 8 Enneagramic personality, Jesus was gentle in his dealing with others. In this episode, we will unfold what helped Jesus to bring a sense of balance between his strength of character and his gentle nature of dealing with others. Firstly, unlike any type 8 person, type 8 Enneagramic Jesus did not allow his compulsion of being a strong person and avoidance of any show of weakness to fall into the trap of being cantankerous, even though he was controversial in that he questioned the status quo of a given situation and challenged people involved to bring about the needed changes. Jesus never displayed constant crabbiness, irritability, or argumentativeness, characteristic of a cantankerous person. He never asserted himself at the expense of others. Despite his inner strength, Jesus never displayed himself as an authoritarian who wanted to have control over everything. Hence, others did not find Jesus as unrelatable. Notwithstanding the inner strength characteristic of type 8 personality, Jesus was very gentle in his dealing with others. There was a mildness and moderation about Jesus' confrontation with other people. Jesus reacted to the sinful behavior of people and their accusers in many different ways and not always by outright confrontation. For instance, John 8, 1 to 11 speaks of Jesus confronting the accusation of the scribes and the Pharisees against the adulterous woman. In his defense, Jesus was gentle and caring towards the adulterous woman while pointing to the sinfulness of the accusers. This approach of Jesus made the accusers walk away shamefacedly without punishing the woman for her act of adultery. Similarly, in Luke 19, 1-10, Jesus confronts those who accused Jesus as the friend of publicans and sinners by deciding to dine at the house of Zacchaeus. After he expressed sorrow for his wrongdoings and was ready to amend his life, Thus, type 8 Enneagramic Jesus manifested a touch of gentleness and care in dealing with people despite being a person of inner strength. Secondly, unlike any type 8 person, type 8 Enneagramic Jesus did not allow his compulsion of being a strong person and the avoidance of any show of weakness to fall into the trap of taking up and fighting, losing battles by confronting an evil situation outright or by alienating people unnecessarily. For Jesus believed outright confrontation and open alienation are not the best strategies in dealing with the unjust situation and people. For instance, Jesus did not challenge Herod's adulterous life as John the Baptist did, which costed him his life. Luke 3.19 For this reason, Jesus asks his disciples not to take up losing battles, but to assess the pros and cons so as to arrive at an amicable solution if war cannot be won. Luke 14.31-33 he asked his disciples to be as prudent as snakes 
and as innocent as doves. Matthew 10, 16. Similarly, though Jesus attacked the self-interest and maliciousness of Jewish leadership in general, confronted them as a class with vested interests, challenged the unjust structures they perpetuated, and pointed out the problem within the system, he did not alienate individual Pharisees, but visited them and maintained good relationships with them. Luke 7, 36, John 3, 1. In this manner, Jesus, though was assertive and confronting evil and injustice, maintained gentleness and openness to his relationship with even those whom he condemned in condemning the evil system. Thirdly, unlike any type 8 person, type 8 enneagramic Jesus did not allow his compulsion of being a strong person and avoidance of any show of weakness to fall into the trap of denying his vulnerability. Despite being a strong person, Jesus allowed himself to be vulnerable. This is especially evident in his passion and death. Jesus displays that he is vulnerable in his farewell discourse as he converses with his disciples. He feels deeply for his disciples and sad to leave them alone. Similarly, at the Garden of Gethsemane, during his agony, Jesus shows that how he feels about his passion, suffering and death, and asks the Father to remove the cup of his passion, if it is the Father's will. He asks Peter, James and John to watch and pray with them. Thus, type 8 enneagramic Jesus, despite being a person of inner strength, never hid his vulnerable nature, but openly manifested it if and when needed. Fourthly, unlike any type 8 person, type 8 enneagramic Jesus did not allow his compulsion of being a strong person and avoidance of any show of weakness to fall into the trap of taking recourse to violence to fight against the evil he encountered in his life. During his passion, Jesus offered no counter violence to the violent manner he was treated. He faced his suffering with gentleness, patience, fortitude and forbearance. When mocked by Herod and the soldiers, condemned by Pilate and beaten by guards at the Garden of Gethsemane, when Peter drew his sword and struck the ear of the high priest's servant Malchus, Jesus asked Peter not to do so, saying, All who drew the sword will die by the sword. Matthew 26:52. Jesus was gentle towards Malchus and healed the wounds caused by Peter. As a matter of fact, Jesus saw the real strength of nonviolence. He believed that God worked through one's own gentleness in the face of others' oppression. In fact, in his instruction to his disciples, Jesus asks his disciples to be his witnesses before the world by inculcating in them both being fearless in speaking out and a willingness to suffer the consequences without resisting by counter violence. In this manner, in type 8 enneagramic Jesus, we find a great sense of balance between being a man of inner strength and being gentle in dealing with others. Thus, type 8 enneagramic Jesus was an embodiment of gentleness in spite of his firmness and assertive nature. In the next episode, we will speak about how Enneagram type 8 persons can learn to deal with their compulsion and avoidance from the Enneagramic Jesus type 8 personality, thereby live a compulsion and avoidance free life with themselves, others and God. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.